This is a guide on how to upcycle your vintage Beovox CX50 loudspeaker. It's not too difficult and will take roughly an hour and a half. Start off by removing the fabric covers and checking for possible damage within the drivers. If they are in poor condition, then we suggest that you replace them as soon as possible. Flip the speaker around, unscrew the two larger screws, and take off the back cover. Pull out the damping material and set it aside for later use. Cut the wires connecting the drivers to the back plate. Remember to cut as close to the ends as possible. Use a hacksaw or a Dremel tool to remove the old speaker connector. This is what it should look like. Pick up the 3D printed puck and the power connector and screw them together. Apply hot glue to the inside of the puck rim and press firmly against the back cover. Now is a good time to start heating up your soldering iron. Take the wires meant for the power connection and strip approximately one centimeter off of the ends. Take the soldering iron and solder the wires to the power connector pins. Remember to check which one is plus and which one is minus. Connect the Raspberry Pi to the BeoCreate 4-channel amplifier. Screw the electronics to the 3D printed frame. Remember to use spacers between the amplifier and the Raspberry Pi. Strip the ends of all the wires still left in the speaker. Connect them to the amplifier by screwing them in. This image depicts the correct placements. Don't forget about the wires from the power connector. Test that the power supply is connected properly. Plug it into power and look for a small red light on the Raspberry Pi. Insert the SD card into the slot on the Raspberry Pi. It's now time to start closing up. Reinsert the damping material from earlier. Slide in the electronics whilst mining the cables. And screw on the back cover. Lastly, put the fabric covers back on. And that's a wrap. You're now ready to set up your recreated Beovox CX50.